focus today is on connection with ideas that are people focused, simple and economically viable, forward thinking yet available to us right now. Mount Crumb people have an increasing population, high property ownership, they are socio-economically advantaged and have a young average age list for now. What this tells us is that Mount Crumb people choose to be here. But why? Mount Crumb people have an opportunity for a strong connection with the land. There's a high land use dedicated to nature in the area meaning that Mount Crumb people have a strong connection with nature. This poses the question, how do we maintain the connection between community and nature as the population organically increases? And if longevity and happiness is increased by intergenerational connections, how can the community grow, the young people choose to stay, and we promote connectivity between the generations? If nature is the reason people choose to live at Mount Crumb, can we look to nature for inspiration? Nature is truly inspirational. Plant cells are highly resilient and adaptable to change and typically orthogonal. Puzzle cells adapt and grow in reaction to their surroundings and arrange themselves in order to decrease stress. Plant cells have evolved to communicate and connect with each other for growth and cohabitation. The interlocking shapes of puzzle cells are emblematic of dynamic organic growth for the Mount Plotten site. They challenge existing orthogonal planning and architectural grids and thinking. They are adaptable and responsive. They facilitate site responsive planning interventions and increase connectivity through greater edge effect. Having analyzed the topography and drainage and the land use our existing, uh, our organic design aims to build upon the existing hubs and connections. By 2050, we are proposing new community-based hubs within a flexible and scalable organic cell framework, developed along an active multimodal transport network, offering new business centres, cultural centres and educational opportunities where a diversity of meaningful and engaging activities can occur. The design includes inclusive community and residential spaces which foster intergenerational connections. For example, co-housing is encouraged on the existing large residential aid lots, as we've seen previously. The promotion of health and physical activity at Mount Cotton is achieved through the enhancement of green space and the adaptive reuse of rural land for community-focused purposes, including local water and waste reuse and associated productive community gardens. The puzzle cell pattern provides the framework for staging activity programming, natural aesthetics, and an identifiable brand for a new community. This framework allows for increased density to accommodate an increasing population while retaining all of the bushland. Opportunities for future land uses are within a flexible framework. People-friendly connections, village hubs that allow for increased community uses, better connections between the community and nature to increase longevity, and better community planning facilitating better intergenerational connectivity. A community that is better integrated is a better community for people of all ages and is the future of Sydney Living Design. Thank you.